Governor Gavin Newsom, who is a um, grade A dipshit, and he has been. Obviously, he's going through this whole recall situation, and we'll see what happens out of that. Not necessarily important to the story. Maybe it actually is, to be be honest. California's a shithole. I mean, look. Yes, are there better areas and worse areas? Of course. Um, but, you know, it's uh, it's not getting better. For a lot of people, it's getting worse. Uh, San Francisco is an, a, for sure a shithole. People are moving out of there in droves. Businesses are relocating because it is an absolute shit hole. Now, fortunately, these people are relocating in areas and then we got people that can't connect the dots and they end up voting and supporting policies that got California ran into the ground, which is unfortunate. But he had some interesting things to say. We know when we generally talk about the San Francisco's of the world and the L.A.'s of the world, a lot of that gets conflated with homelessness because they have a severe problem that is weird out there, though not every part of California has that. But this is what. What he said. Um, Let's talk about this. We're going to read what's happening right now. This is being uh, from uh, who is this? Phil Shiver from uh, Blaze. So what's happening? Governor Gavin Newsom. uh, Who was set to read of the recall election September 14th, made the remarks while his he was in his uh, Sonoma County. um, While in Sonoma County on Monday to sign a 12 billion dollar bill. Holy shit. So they are planning to spend $12 billion to combat rapid and growing homelessness in the state. That's all it takes. Give the government more money. More government spends more money. And then voila, all the homeless people just go away. Poverty is ended. Easy. It works every 60% of the time. It works every time. Uh, the bill, which is part of Newsom's California comeback plan. They, why do they? It's funny. Not funny. It's actually evil as shit. They always name these bills, spending bills as like these uh, things that, hey, we're going to the, the fight such and such act. And then it's like a bunch of pork and shit of uh, them spending money, lacing up and ministers and min- administrators to to throw money at a, at a wall and, and, and not even fix the problem. If anything, make it worse. Aims to make home ownership more affordable by requiring at least 20 percent of wow. Requiring 20 percent of state owned property, which is a. Not a thing, by the way, Um, state owned property. It's like a contradiction in terms. Uh, It's illegitimate. Let's say that be made available to lower income and very low income individuals and families, according to Politico. During the visit, the governor was asked if he was concerned about California becoming a potential magnet for homeless homeless people from other states, given all the money it's spending on the issue. So someone asking a question, basically, is it going to do what the welfare state do? And that is you subsidize a problem and you get fucking more of it. Yeah, that that tends to be how it works. Let's see what, what, what he had to say about it. To the extent that people want to come here for new beginnings and all income levels, that's part of the California dream. Uh, he says uh, they have a responsibility to accommodate and enliven and inspire. He says Californians have, have that's interesting. Californians, of course, have the responsibility, which is always interesting. He says the California dream is still alive and well. So basically in response now, There's a ways that you can take this statement. What it sounds like he's saying, though, is like, hey, bring all your homeless people, which, okay, uh, whatever. But there is no California dream. It's a shithole. It costs too much to live out there. And uh, people are moving out of there because they you're making the economic situation even worse. So people don't want to invest in these areas, which they unfortunately get worse because of that. Uh, what came first, the chicken or the egg? You make the decision. Either way, we know that shit subsidizes shit. More shit. That's just how it works. When you subsidize shit, you get more of it. But there is no California dream. And and um, this idea that... And, and this is what I hate about government so much. Because they pin so much of like what it is that they do on the responsibility of everybody else. So basically what he's saying, it, it's your job 
to take care of these homeless people, which is why we spend it 12 billion of uh, 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 your dollars that you didn't ask for us to spend. Maybe a couple of y'all did, but most of y'all did. Because if you could do something with it, you'd, you'd probably keep it. And if you wanted to voluntarily help ho- homeless people through a charity or your church or something like that, you do that. But giving it to the state almost ensures it's going to be pissed away and it's going to be expensive. It's going to be inefficiently spent. But the idea that they try to place the responsibility on other people is par for the course when it comes for government. It's not anything even unique to California, unfortunately, where it's like we're, we're in this together. It's all responsibility because it makes them feel be- better about well, let's call it what it is, robbing you. But that that $12 billion is going to be spent to, again, lace up a bunch of institutions, a bunch of ad- ad- administrators who are going to see the bulk of it. And the problem ain't going to go away because that's not homelessness is a it's a I'm not going to say it's a complex issue. It's maybe it, it's not as black and white as maybe a lot of people like to think that it is. Um. Uh, but it's not gonna, it's not a problem that gets solved by way of just throwing money at things, which is, you know, when you're dealing with leftists, the authoritarian left, definitely when it comes to things like poverty, they believe genuinely that if they just spend more money and take from you, then everything is going to be a lot better. Everything's going to be better. Everything's going to be uh, all right if they could just steal a little bit more print a little more uh definitely at the federal level and or rather when it comes to central banking system and treasury we're going to print more money devalue your money in the process and we can solve a lot of these issues and i guess doom and gloom again sorry there's people that believe that how many people have you heard tax more people like imagine that as an alternative i don't care how much how much you hate like rich people just just for just because they have a lot of money some people get money by being criminals and i don't like them either but, you know, uh, fortunately, a lot of people focus so much on on how much money like rich people have and they want to tax them more. Think about what it is that you're saying. You're saying that the money is better suited in the event that it's given to an institution that is at the federal level, not California, in a 30 trillion dollars worth of fucking debt. Unless you know how fucking retarded people are. I'm sorry. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.